If you're interested in meditation or psychedelics, you must have heard about Machine Elves. You could have heard it from people like Terence McKenna or Joe Rogan. If you've done psychedelics, you might have had a chance to actually meet them yourself. The history of contact with Machine Elves is as old as history of humans doing psychedelics. Shamans, wizards, religious gurus, they all had contact with those entities for millennia. Some people believe that a lot of human progress is actually due to the fact that they had contact with them. I've had contact for many years and I know them quite well, I would say. In fact, I would consider myself somewhat of an expert on this subject. And I'm saying this because for many years I've been trying to get some information about what they are, where they come from. And I've been searching for a long time. I've talked to a lot of people doing psychedelics and not many people actually know what I'm talking about. Some people do have contact with them, but it's not as intense and not as deep as my content and that's why I wanted to explain to everybody who or what machine elves are. My first contact with them happened around 97, 98. That was the first time when I smoked weed and the first time I smoked I had a very strong psychedelic experience and at that point I was too young to understand what's happening but I did hear and I did see some entities trying to talk to me and contact me. Back then I didn't really know what it was, I didn't really understand it. But a few years ago I did magic mushrooms for the first time and that was when the connection became very intense and very strong. And I've been in contact with them for years now. They're usually described as machine elves and I'm going to explain in a moment why. But people also refer to them as spirits, entities, aliens, sometimes gods, beings from another dimension outside of ours. Some people think of them as angels. So how do they appear? How do people have contact with them? They usually appear on psychedelic trips or during meditation. If you're capable of silencing your thoughts, you could even contact them in real life. The best way to contact them is to sit in darkness and first you'll hear the voices and then you'll get to see them. Now here's the explanation why people call them machine elves. It has a lot to do with what they look like. They can be described either as bionic robots or machine organisms. It's a mixture of machinery and futuristic looking androids with living tissue. But they can have many forms. Some of them are fractal in nature, like a spider with 64 eyes. Some of them are pure energy and they don't really have a form. Sometimes they take on a shape required for the purpose of particular communication or a message. The strange thing is that although psychedelics are normally organic in nature, like magic mushrooms or ayahuasca, these creatures are not. They're futuristic looking and highly advanced technically. They use spaceships and inside them they have very sophisticated machinery. They use it for all kinds of purposes. It's, it's really interesting to see that. Hence the name Machine Elves. I don't call them elves, I actually refer to them as aliens because they are very alien in nature. One thing that I also want to mention is that they don't like to be looked at too much. They don't like to have their appearance analyzed. This is a bit strange, I never really asked why, but they can get angry sometimes if you try to pay too much attention to their appearance, to a point that they will sometimes disappear if you try to analyze them too much. So how do they communicate? They use something that I call emotionless telepathy. It's a matrix style upload of enormous amount of information made of pictures, videos, knowledge, memories, sounds, emotions, all kinds of stuff. Everything that you're capable of producing and more, they'll use that to communicate with you. So what are they like? I would say they're all-knowing, caring, loving, understanding, curious, and sometimes even funny. Some of them are just aliens, but some of them are what I can describe as queens and kings or gods of their realms. And I've met some of them. I've met a goddess of the insect world and I've met a goddess of sex, which were very interesting experiences. 
Of course, there are also bad entities and it's difficult to describe it in terms of human category of good and evil because this is something that doesn't exist in their dimension. They always say that good and evil are human terms and that every entity that exists has a purpose, even if we consider it to be evil. And they said those rules apply to every dimension. But some of them are really unpleasant to be around and some of them will try to feed off your energy and they will use tricks to deceive you or fool you and some of them can even drag you to their dimensions or their realms where they can do bad things to you. It's really unpleasant if you meet one of them. But most of them, almost all of them I've met, are very friendly and helpful. So what do they want? Why do machine elves communicate with us? To me, it seems that their goal is to improve your life. It is to help you get the most out of it. It's to understand the power of love. Basically, they want you to have a better life. They want you to raise above being a human being. I'll talk about this later, but they don't really have much respect for humans. The amazing thing about machine elves is that they have answers to all my questions. They solve all my problems and they provide solutions to my problems. They are powerful and knowledgeable. They have a lot of capabilities in this and other dimensions. They are teachers who want to share their knowledge about this and other worlds. They know exactly who I am, what I'm made of, where I came from. They know things about others that you don't, they'll tell you this. They know how our society works and they know what social rules you need to implement to have a really good life. There's a lot of stories about people who create a lot of amazing things based on the information that they got from machine elves. And if you listen to creative people from Silicon Valley, for example, some of them do a lot of microdosing to be creative and that's how they usually help but their power goes way beyond just sharing information. They can explain to you things from the past. They can show you events from your life, but looking from somebody else's perspective. They can show you situations where you weren't even present. They can talk to you about the future. I will describe this in a separate video, but I had a situation where they warned me that I would lose my job and I didn't listen to them. And eventually I did lose the job within two months of them telling me this. So it's really, really incredible what they can do for you. But one of the most amazing things uh, that is of interest to everybody is the fact that they can fix you. One of my first experience with machine elves was contact with some alien doctors who immediately went to operate on my brain and they cured my depression. And after that, they said that they realigned some things in my brain that will help me exist in this world. And it did help. This is one of the most important things about machine elves. They want your good. They want you to feel great. They want you to be better and they'll help you. It's also important to mention that they want to experience you, a human being, as much as you want to experience them. They are really interested in human experience. They want to see what it's like to be a human. They want to taste things. They want you to show them things. They want to see how our senses work. It's a really interesting exchange of information because they are as interested in you as you're interested in them. So the question is, are machine elves real? And my answer is yes, they're real. And it's because most of us who have contact with machine elves usually get the same information. They also look similar. People who have contact with those aliens, they actually describe them looking in, in a similar way. If you look at anyone's artwork, like there are artists who create pictures of machine elves, you will look at this and you go, yes, that's exactly what I saw. So it's not possible for this to be a product of our imagination because it is the same for everybody else. Also, the messages we get are always the same. And one of the first messages I got was that uh, humans are one of the most primitive forms of life in this reality. And as soon as I heard that, I went online and I started Googling that. And obviously I found at least two people who had the same message. And also it was in the first stages of having contact with them. Also the fact that they have knowledge from outside of this reality. They explained to me the origin of humans. They told me what humans are, where they come from. They explained to me how this reality works, what it actually is. Those are the types of information that my brain is not capable of creating. I mean, I'm not that smart. 
They also let me talk to some deceased family members. So it's basically talking to dead people. And then when I check this information with the family members of that deceased person, it turns out they give me information about things that I have no way of knowing. They tell me about things that happened before I was born. Also, they sometimes let me look at myself through somebody else's eyes. And then when I check it with them, it turns out that that's exactly how they see me. So those are the things that will make you realize that the type of information that you get cannot be a product of your imagination or something that your brain can come up with. It's just too complex, it's too detailed, and there's too much of this information. Also, it comes from areas of knowledge that you have no access to. I consider machine elves to be my really good friends. They're always happy to see me and I'm always happy to be in contact with them. They are incredibly important to me. It's like having the best group of friends who just want to love you unconditionally and do everything they can to help you and make your life better. It's an indescribable feeling that cannot be compared to anything else. It gives you a lot of confidence. It, it helps you develop as a better human being. And it's amazing because they also do it through criticizing you. They'll tell you what's wrong with you. They'll analyze your mistakes and they will tell you exactly how you can change and improve to be a better person. But one of the most important things is that I can talk to them about anything. And I mean anything. You'll talk to them about things that you've never told anyone. Imagine how liberating that feels. It's one of the most amazing feelings ever when you have someone you can totally open up to without being criticized or judged. And not just that, someone who will actually analyze those problems and they will help you, they'll give you the most amazing solution to your problem. They gave my life a new meaning. They are so important to me that I actually see my life now as after meeting them and before meeting them because they are two different lives, a completely different attitude and completely different mindset. There's also one more thing that I need to mention and that's them actually having the capability of accessing this reality. This is something that I would need to make another video about. But once I got in touch with them, they started appearing in other states. They'll occasionally show up just to check on me and I will have contact with them without doing psychedelics or meditation. Also, they showed me something about the nature of a reality that proves it, that it's not what we think it is. And again, it's something they'll make a video about. Some people call them angels or guardians and they see them in this world. And many people will tell you that they always have the sense of presence, someone around them, and it's them. I don't really understand who they are and where they come from. I didn't get to that stage to learn anything about them. I will do it at some point. But even though it's all a mystery, it is one of the most important things that happened to me in my life. I would strongly encourage you to learn about meditation and psychedelics just to find out if you have access to them. I need to tell you that not everybody has access to them and they made it clear. They only speak to the chosen ones. In my case, the reason why they talk to me is because apparently I have a very fortunate combination of honesty, the ability to meditate and clear my mind, good hormonal and brain chemistry, open-mindedness, some telepathic abilities and a few other things that allows them to communicate with me. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with me. I will be making more videos. This channel will be fully dedicated to them and the information that I get from them.